Today I decided to share with you my trading habits. Okay, that means the routine I do every day. So I'm making a two-part video to show you uh, if you are a busy working professional, for example, then what can you do uh, to use the tall suite of indicators to help you to pinpoint the trade. So trading shouldn't be manual right now. It has to do with, uh, to me, all right, uh, systematic process, okay, a little bit mathematical, systematic where I'll be able to get the uh, signals, but still make some human inputs, human decision to that. All right, so as you can see from my screen, uh, the oil signal did very well previously from the tour and then um, just a few days ago there was another one more sell signal in the oil and that was where I took the trade. So please um, watch the first part video where uh, I uh, talk about how I plan the trade, how I put in the trade, how I use the tall dashboard to trade the oil signal. Uh, more, more important is that I have, uh, you know, after many days of, not many days, but after about uh, three days of, four days of trading to the trade, I have to reach my profit target and make a very nice, uh, handsome of uh, money, all right, profit, all right. Um, the idea is not about just making money from one trade. The idea is to be consistent and to keep on using this to trade that. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to make this part of the video, which is WTI, but then later on, um, I will follow up with another one more copper video, same way of trading as well. Alright, so please um, watch on and just to share with you, this is the profit that I've made from oil and I have already closed this trade already. Alright, so enjoy the next part of the video. Hi, it's Benny here. Thanks for watching the video. Now today, I'm going to share with you how I plan for my trade. As you know, I've designed the Alien Wash, which is basically on the use of wash and rinse. But again, how do I find these trades? Now we can spend a lot of time browsing, searching, but time is limited in a day. Right, and I like the trades to pop to me rather than I search for them. And that's why I use a lot of automations in my trade. So this is like a tall dashboard that, that I can see at one glance what kind of trades I'm looking at. And right now, um, I'm interested in this trade, which is the OI, WTI, which is the crude oil itself. Why is that so? Because I, I remembered that OI had a very nice resistance and it's in a very nice downtrend. But more important is the clues that's given by the whole dashboard. So these are all clues which are uh, fed to me in this dashboard and then I don't go and look for the trades, right? The trades come looking for me and that's a very important portion. Now, let's take a look at here is that the one hour, that means that 17 hours ago, all right, there was a one hour trigger of the wash line and it didn't continue through, right? So it means that somewhere there's a little bit of a bearishness and perhaps that the market is just waiting for another one more opportunity. So I want to know whether there is a continuation to this particular sell signal and the key level I'm looking at would be at 68.87 here. Alright, so let's take a look into the WTI chart. Now, a uh, few things to take note of. In the WTI chart, um, we traded many times. Alright, if you remember in my guide, right, especially to my students, alright, we shorted the WTI at the high here. Alright, and that's the automated signal that's plotted by Tor, the alien wash. And then we have another one more cell here that works fantastic. Then there was another one more cell here. The question is that will there be another one more cell that's successful here? Because we do have a cell signal coming in for the oil. All right. Now we can spend a lot of time drawing lines, plotting lines. That's perfectly fine. But the question is that as people who are new, do you have time to do that? All right. And again, that is not only about time. Are you able to do it correctly? So I, I'm using a lot of tools to help me. So for example, I have this, which is to look at the higher time frame. All right. What's the higher time frame showing? So at least at one glance, I know that the carbon price it's right now below the uh, higher time frame levels. That means that these are resistance that are acting at the for the oil right now. So oil right now to me, um, it is below resistance. Okay, and then it's below a 
uh, magenta line so every of my signal is color coded right, so that's very important because at one glance i know whether it is bullish or bearish and what is the implication of all these lines all right so i'm just going to go into the four hour chart so this is the four hour, ch hour chart that i'm looking at right now and we have the uh, very important lines as, as i said right all my lines are all color coded i'm trading based on this concept which is called wash and rinse all right now same thing if you like to know what is a wash and rinse then i have a free course right which explain what is wash and rinse and wash and rinse is particularly very very useful why is that so remember the few times that we traded into the uh uh oil all right and that's exactly based on wash and rinse right this time here when we shorted into oil so that's a wash and that's a rinse and then around here where we shorted again so this is the wash then this is the rinse right you can see the pattern kept repeating now this time around that's the wash and then that's the rinse all, right. all of them produce very wonderful results okay same thing the question would be Will this pattern wash and rinse repeat? I think that we might have a chance. So this could be a wash and then we are just waiting for the rinse to happen. All right. So same thing. I plotted all my lines here. For example, the green to me is a cell line. So I'm just waiting for the signal to happen at the uh, end of the four hour bar. So because we trade every four hour. Okay, so um, it's right now the time is three minutes more to the four hours. I'm just going to get ready for the trade. All right, here we go. It seems that we have a, an alert, right? That's being notified to me into my uh, mobile platform, all right, into my handphone. And that's a bearish in the WTI. All right, so can, as you can see, that alert happens. Uh, so it alerted me to this particular trade. So that's a bearish in WTI. So if we, if I need to look back and I can see that the dashboard just pop up a new alert here. Okay, exactly right now, because right now it's uh, 201. So at, 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 at this moment here, so that's the close of the H4 right now. What I did is that I also drag in the uh, lot size calculator and I find that if I open this particular trade at the current price here, all right, around here, and then I define the stop loss at um, this place, which is about 70.35. Then, um, based on the reason one percent, I'll be risking. Uh, I, I have an order size of 0 0.18, right? If I want to risk one percent of my account size, okay. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place in the order. So just click the um, new order here, all right? And then you'll pop up, and I'm just gonna key in 0 0.18 okay and then to define the stop loss accordingly i can do the stop loss later on if i need to all right and then just gonna keep the target profit towards the bottom here which is around the 6550 region all right just gonna key in a number and then i will do the adjustment later on right i'm just gonna make it a market order to do a sell market all right so let's sell the market order right now all right so i have to, um make this trade and we're going to see what happened later on all right i think you know what happened to oil trade so the oil trade went very well uh, so this is currently the chart in oil let me just recap a little bit of where i shorted in oil so i shorted here all right at this place here and that's the whole chunk of a w and r all right uh as i said the wr that means the wash and rinse is um has always result most of the time resulted in explosive movement and then uh, we've seen quite a nice move in oil all right uh, i have taken profit at this point here so this was the profit that i've set in the profit target i'll be looking at uh, a retracement upwards right into uh, any of the resistance zone for a resell but um, moving forward if you are interested to know more about wash and rinse please take the wash and rinse course why do you want to consider taking the wash and rinse course? Well, the good news is that it's not only a course, but it comes with a set of indicators to help you. That's your tools, right? And then this is how we trade. 
All right. Now, uh, so we can have very wonderful method trading method. But if you are not actioning based on your method, based on what you learned, all right, then you are not using it to make money. All right. So therefore, I rely on the set of the alien wash tools. All right. Then good news is that um, we have right now gotten. Uh, a sponsor where the uh, preferred brokers would be giving giving uh, you guys a full cash refund all right on the cost fee and that's a seven hundred dollars cash not credit but cash which means that if you meet the term and conditions very easy to meet term and condition no hidden hidden term and condition if you meet that then it's cash to you you're able to withdraw that cash all right of course then you can use the cash to offset your cost fee so to to you uh, you're going to receive the cost plus the set of tools at no cost i mean literally at no cost to you so please head over to the website where you can start off with the first module which is a free module and then the second module is when you need to pay but your cost fee all right would be a full cash refund once you meet the criteria all right and um, the promotion ends on 31st of october all right hope to see you in my course